Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel Math1089. This video is about the Sophie Zarman identity. Sophie Zarman identity. And Sophie Zarman identity basically is about to factorize the expression x4 plus 4y to the power 4 this expression we need to factorize and Sophie Zerman identity is about factorizing this expression. So we can write x4 as x square whole square and 4y square y to the power of 4 as 2y square whole square. So initially we can see that one term like a square the other term is like b square is there. In order to factorize this expression what we will do we will add 2 a b term and subtract 2 a b term. What I mean to say is this x square whole square as usual plus 2 y square whole square as usual we will add 2 a b term that means 2 x square into 2 y square so that is 2 a b and subtract 2 a b term why we are doing this so that this expression becomes a whole square and that term is x square plus 2y square whole square and what about the second term this is 4x square y square this is equal to 4x square y square and we can write it like 2xy whole square 2xy whole square now what you can see over here it is in the form of a square minus b square. First term is a and the second term is b. So a square minus b square. The formula for the same is a plus b into a minus b. So we can write it like x square plus 2y square plus 2xy and x square plus 2y square minus 2xy. Again from this 2y square we will take only y square and from this 2y square also we will take only y square so that we can finally write it like x plus y whole square because x square is there 2xy is there 1y square taken so another y square will remain. Similarly from the other expression we can write it like x minus y, y whole square plus y square. So basically Sophie German identity is about to factorize the expression x to the power of 4 plus y to the power of 4 like x square plus 2y square plus 2xy into x square plus 2y square minus 2xy or more preferably x plus y whole square plus y square first term into x minus y whole square plus y square the second term. As an application consider the following example. In this question we can see the expression in the numerator is 10 to the power of 4 plus 3 to 4 into 22 to the power of 4 plus 3 to 4 34 to the power of 4 plus 324 46 to the power of 4 plus 324 58 to the power of 4 plus 324 and the terms in the denominator are 4 to the power of 4 plus 324 16 to the power of 4 plus 324 28 to the power of 4 plus 324, 40 to the power of 4 plus 324 
and the last term is 52 to the power of 4 plus 324. Now we can see one particular number is present in all the terms and that particular term that particular number is 324. So what is so important about 324? If I just take 4 common we can write it like 4 into 81. Further we can write it like 4 into 3 to the power of 4. So the first term if I consider the first term of the numerator because all the terms are similar let's do some research with the first term of this expression what we can do with this expression so it is 10 to the power of 4 plus 3 to 4 that is same as 10 to the power of 4 plus 4 into 3 to the power of 4. Now it's in the form of Sophie German expression. So we can clearly factorize this expression in this form. Like 10 plus 3 whole square plus 3 square into 10 minus 3 whole square plus 3 square. Now why we, we can write this type of thing? Because this value is x, this is the value of x and this is the value of y. So the expression looks like x to the power of 4 plus 4 y to the power of 4. And the factorized form is x plus y whole square plus y square into x minus y whole square plus y square. And this is same as 13 square plus 3 square into 7 square plus 3 square. So now 10 to the power of 4 plus 324 can be written as 13 square plus 3 square into 7 square plus 3 square. Applying the same method, the same technique, how we can write 22 to the power of 4 plus 224. So 22 to the power of 4 plus 324 can be written as 25 square plus 3 square into 19 square plus 3 square. The next term is 34 to the power of 4 plus 324 34 to the power of 4 plus 324 can be written as 37 square plus 3 square into 31 square plus 3 square following the same rule. Similarly 46 to the power of 4 plus 324. We can write it like this 49 square plus 3 square into 43 square plus 3 square. And finally 58 to the power of 4 plus 324 can be written as 61 square plus 3 square into 55 square plus 3 square. All the expressions and their factorization 
are very much similar. The expressions and their respective factorization are very much similar. In the same way, if we consider the denominators, then we can write 4 to the power of 4 plus 324, like 7 square plus 3 square, into 1 square plus 3 square. Now it's a very good suggestion don't get tempted to simplify these expressions further because cancellation will take place. Cancellation will take place. Next term 16 to the power of 4 plus 324 which can be simplified as 19 square plus 3 square into 13 square plus 3 square. Next term is 28 to the power of 4 plus 324 which can be written as 31 square plus 3 square into 25 square plus 3 square. Next term is 40 to the power of 4 plus 324 that is equal to 43 square plus 3 square into 37 square plus 3 square. And the final term is 52 to the power of 4 plus 3 to 4. In the same way, this is equal to 55 square plus 3 square into 49 square plus 3 square. So the first task is done. Now, we need to substitute all these values into the above expression for cancellation. Now, on substituting the alternative expression for 10 to the power of 4 plus 324 we get the first two terms. Similarly the second term can be replaced by these two terms. Third term can be replaced by these two terms. Fourth term can be replaced by these two terms. Fifth term in the numerator can be replaced by these two terms. Similarly the first term in the denominator can be replaced by these two terms. Second term can be replaced by these two terms. Third term can be replaced by these two terms. Fourth term can be replaced by these two terms. And fifth term or the last term can be replaced by these two terms. Now it's the time for cancellation. Let's see the first term that is 13 square plus 3 square. Numerator 13 square plus 3 square in the denominator. Similarly 7 square 3 square numerator 7 square plus 3 square in the denominator. Then 25 square plus 3 square both in numerator and denominator. 19 square plus 3 square both in numerator and denominator. 37 square plus 3 square both in numerator and denominator. 31 square plus 3 square both in numerator and denominator. 43 square plus 3 square both in numerator and denominator. 49 square plus 3 square both in numerator and denominator. and 55 square plus 3 square both numerator and denominator. So what actually remain in the numerator? 61 square plus 3 square. 61 square plus 3 square. And what remain in the denominator? 1 square plus 3 square. So these are the term which actually remain one in the numerator and one in the denominator. So in the numerator it is 61 square 
plus 3 square and in the denominator it is 1 square plus 3 square. A simple calculation 61 square equal to 3721 and 3 square is equal to 9 and in the denominator 1 plus 9. This is equal to 3730 by 10 that is 373. So this is the answer for this question. Now it's the time to solve one question on your own and the question is as follows. The question is given under the heading try this and this is the question. 2022 whole to the power of 4 plus 4 into 2021 whole to the power of 4 by 2021 whole square plus 4043 square minus 2020 whole to the power of 4 plus 4 into 2021 whole to the power of 4 whole divided by 2021 square plus 4041 square. Hope you all like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and share this video. Thank you.